wanted to make another video update of this motor um, it is now let's see 10 10.04 this motor has been running since before 7 o'clock off of this 9 volt battery that one right there so that's two and a half hours straight on a 9 volt battery and this is really just a basic Bedini SSG circuit with one little modification that one little modification is this little diode on the left uh, typically you have a diode that's going from the uh, from the um, <laughs> what is that they call this? The base, the emitter, and the collector. The collector. It's usually a diode going from the collector, but this diode is going from the ground back to the capacitor at the same location, the same termination as the other diode. And what that does is that it recharges the battery during the off cycle. So during the on cycle, the coil gets charged up, runs the or turns the magnet. The magnet turns, then you have an off cycle, and the back EMF from the collapsing magnetic field on the coil goes back into that battery. And that just keeps repeating on and on and on over and over and over again. So I just wanted to capture this. Uh, this is a and it the length that it it runs uh, really depends on uh, one other thing, and that's this PWM. It's pretty messy, but I just wanted to capture this real quick. So this PWM, a pulse width modulator. Uh, can dictate how much power is from that battery is going into this motor and so I had it at the, a really low setting and it ran for a long time but once the battery voltage drops too low then it's at the low setting it's just not enough so it stopped last night so I restarted it this morning uh, a little after 630 and it's been going ever since one battery two and a half hours and I don't care what kind of motor you have, but a battery going for, uh, even a 9 volt battery going for an hour is a long time. In fact, um, I think that battery, if it's just running an LCD display, similar to this one here, oops, let me get that in focus, similar to this one here, uh, will run out the battery after, um, I think it was uh, like six hours or something, a nine volt battery. So to run a motor for upwards of two hours nonstop is a, is a big deal. The goal ultimately is to have a perpetual motor where it doesn't stop at all. So I haven't run a test long enough uh, to do that. Also, uh, this frame and setup is a little janky. It's a little uh, there's some imbalance in the in the magnet that's spinning. Um, so that vibration takes energy. I'm not sure that the bearings are perfectly aligned, so that takes a little bit of energy. Um, but yeah, so there you have it. A basic Bedini circuit right here uh, and this is a single filer uh, single wire so some improvements on it or I want to test out is is what happens when you have a bi filer coil on both sides um, of the uh, of the rotor because that should be a little bit more efficient 
but it may consume more power. I don't know that that matters with this setup, so um, so I think I'm going to try that by father with opposing coils. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm going to build a new setup that's a little less messy than this, and that will be able to demonstrate uh, what's actually going on a little bit better. But until then, um, yeah, I'll just keep on letting this thing go. Although I do have a meeting in an hour, so uh, <laughs> I might have to make it stop uh, and get it out the way. All right, that's it.